Amy Bright always wanted to be an educator, and a North Carolina Teaching Fellow Scholarship solidified her dream. In this morning's Thanks to Teachers, we visit a Rutherford County classroom that is full of life and learning. I got chills! They're multiplying! We caught the end of this first period advanced placement English class. It's electrifying! And it certainly was a sight to see and hear. The students have a karaoke song for creative thesis writing. Sentence sophistication. And taking the lead is teacher Amy Bright. It's a score that I want. Oh, oh, nine, nine, nine. Eight, eight, nine, honey. The score that I want. At Chase High School since 1999, Miss Bright is exactly where she wants to be. I love the interaction with the teenagers. They have the capacity to be creative and fun. You can. Uh, just they're just full of life just like her she has so much energy in her and it just you know inspires all of us to just want to participate in what she has for us planned every day okay that includes a second period English lesson on sentence structure anybody know what a fanboy is Miss Bright uses an acronym and has an entire routine to get students attention Boring orbital yet so nice nice she's kind of crazy <laughs> but I think everybody likes her I mean, I don't think anyone could not like Miss Bright. The formula is love and adoration, plus... I'm also a pretty strict disciplinarian. I let my students know right up front I have extremely high expectations for their behavior and for their achievement. I had Miss Bright, and you know your fanboys. Getting them to think, read, and write intelligently on their own while taking away something more important. When my students leave every day, I always end the period with, have a good day, I love you all. Um, just in case there's a kid in my room who doesn't hear it from anybody else, I want them to know that I care. And for that, we say thank you. Isn't she a remarkable How woman? sweet is that, huh? That class was so much fun. We had a blast while we were there for both first period and second period. It's always something changing and different in that class. I couldn't tell who was a student, who was a teacher there for a while. When she got <laughs> with the crowd. She fits right in there. She does. Yeah, that's amazing. I like that, too. That's a, you know, it looks like something from P90X. She's, she's bad. <laughs> <laughs> she's bad to the bone. <laughs> and remember, we need nominations to recognize another deserving teacher next week and every week right here on News 13 this morning. Get our website, WLOS.com. Click on contests, then thanks to teachers.